Namaste everyone. I hope you all are staying at home with your families and safe. As we all are aware that we all are suffering from a pandemic COVID-19 which has forced all of us to be in quarantine. But then I thought if you can't come to the school, why not we come uh, to you? So I want my kids not to lag behind. So here I am with a science lesson. I am Akriti and I will be taking your science class today. This is our first lesson. So before we start the topic, I want to start it with a riddle. What is that thing that can breathe like a living organism but cannot move from one place to another? Yes, the answer is plants. So today we are going to study about plants. It's chapter 1. The name of the chapter is more about plants. You must have studied in your previous classes about plants and the parts of the plants. But now we will study a step further, a step ahead. Now you must be wondering sometimes that from where do we get this increased number of plants in the world around us. Yes, the plants we can get is by the process called reproduction. So the very first topic that we are going to study about is called reproduction. Now what is reproduction? It is same as the reproduction process is in humans. This is a process by which a living organism produces more of their kind. Now reproduction can happen in many ways in the plants. Have you ever thought the fruits you eat have seeds in them? Now you must be thinking these seeds are useless. But no my dear children, the seeds are very useful. With the help of those seeds and the fruits, we can produce more plants of the same kind. So our first step in the reproduction process is reproduction by seed. Now for the seed, you need to know the structure of the seed. For example, take a kidney bean seed. A kidney bean seed looks something like this. This is called the outer seed coat. As we wear coats in the winter season to protect ourselves, this is a hard lining of the seed which is called seed coat to protect it from the outer environment. Now if you dip this seed into a moist wool and keep it overnight and then try to open it, you will find a structure of the kidney bean structure something like this. This is again your seed coat. And these two leaves are called cotyledon. Now here you can see a small Thing. This is called an embryo. Now what is an embryo? This is a baby shoot. Baby shoot part and the baby root part. Now this is from where the baby actually grows into a plant and reproduction happens. Now this is how the structure of the seed looks like. Now how do we reproduce using a seed. This is a soil surface. Now, if we take a kidney bean and we put it into a soil, now we know that any plant can only grow in certain conditions. If we want a seed to grow into a baby plant, then the seed needs to have sunlight plus water and air. These three conditions are necessary 
for the seed to grow into a baby plant. Now when a seed is grown and given water, air and under the sunlight, after some days this shoot part, the root part grows downwards and the shoot part starts coming outwards. This is a shoot part of the baby and the root grows downwards and take the nutrients from the soil. Now after some days we can see that the baby plant comes out and the leaves are grown. So this is a baby plant. Now this only happens, mind you, only with the conditions applied. If we are giving a seed proper sunlight, water and air, which has oxygen obviously, that is necessary for the seed, the seed will grow after some days into a baby plant. So this process from which a seed grows into a baby plant is called germination. Now what if I ask you to write the definition of germination? It is the process by which a seed grows into a baby plant using sunlight, water and air. So this process is called germination. So here we have seen the reproduction in plants by using the seeds. Now there are many plants that are grown by using the seeds. For example, avocado, oranges and many more. So we have studied how reproduction can happen using seed. Now we will study the definition like how to write or define reproduction. Reproduction. As I explained to you, reproduction is a process. It is a process by which living organisms produce produces their kind it is a process by which living organism produces their own kind only the living beings like in humans likewise in plants reproduction can happen secondly we have studied about germination As I explained you stepwise how germination of a seed happens, now we are going to define germination. It is again a process, it is a process in which in which a seed now we have taken a seed while germinating. So it is a process in which a seed grows into, grows into what? A seed grows into a baby plant. It is a process in which a seed grows into a baby plant. Now I told you that a seed cannot grow without certain conditions. So a seed can only grow into a baby plant under the sunlight which is very important air and water. Now if any of these three conditions will not be there reproduction or the germination of a seed cannot happen. 
So it's always seen that every seed cannot grow into a movie plant because any of these three conditions or any other favorable conditions are not there for the seed to grow. So certain seeds grow into plant, the germination happens. That is because favorable conditions are there like sunlight, air and water. So this is called germination. So we have studied reproduction in, by using seed and how a seed germinates and a structure of a seed. Now, have you ever thought that there are many vegetables, many fruits, those do not have seeds? Or tell me, do we have all the vegetables and fruits having seeds? No, absolutely not. So, how do we reproduce then those plants? Not by the seeds, but by other parts of the plants. So, secondly, we are going to study the reproduction by stem. Yes, you heard me right. There are many plants like potato, onion, hibiscus, ginger and many more. Now they don't have seeds in them but we can still reproduce them. How? Using the stem. Now if you take a stem of a potato or if you have ever seen a potato, the surface of the potato has small buds called eyes. If we cut the potatoes in different parts and we grow it into a soil and we give it sunlight, proper water, proper air, it will grow into a plant. Same wise, likewise, using the stems of these plants and growing them again in another pot, we can actually grow these plants or we can reproduce these plants. So this is how some plants are grown using the stem. Now there are some plants which can be reproduced by roots. Yes, you heard me right. By roots. For example, carrot. Now, carrot can, does not have seeds obviously, so we cannot it grow, grow it by that method. For the carrot, you will have to take the piece of the carrot in a dish and if you, the carrot piece should have a bit of leaves in it. And if you dip that carrot piece in a water, half in a water and after some days, you will find that the leaves grow. That is because this part, this uh, acts as a root. So this is actually a root of the plant. By this, we can reproduce more and more carrots in the farms. Now, this is by stem and by root. Now, there are certain plants which are reproduced by leaves. Yes. If you have ever seen bryophyllum, now this bryophyllum is a leaf, the leaf of this bryophyllum has small buds around the edges of its leaf. Yes, there are small buds around the edges of this leaf. Using these buds, we can grow it into the soil and we can reproduce more and more plants of the same kind. This happens by leaves. So these are the few methods. By stem, we can grow these types of plants. By roots, we can grow these types of plants. By leaves, we can grow certain kind of plants. So these are the methods of reproduction using seed, using stem, using root and using leaves. There are many activities that is mentioned in your book. 
The school has already given you a code of the book. You can download the app and find out the chapter, many activities, many more worksheets and videos related to the same topic. So I request you to please download the app and see yourself the videos, the workshops and a lot of material that we have given. The next and the last part of reproduction is from sports. Now what is a spores you must be wondering. There are certain plants where the leaves contain dark dots. These dots are called, sorry, S-O-R-I. And these are called spores. Using these spores, we can reproduce more plants of the same kind. So this is how reproduction can also happen from spores. So my dear children, reproduction in plants as we have seen can be done in these five ways. The first way is from seeds. Examples of from seeds are pea, corn, avocado and many more. All the fruits and those have seeds in them. Next way of reproducing is from the stems. And which plants can be grown using the stem? It's rose, sugarcane, potato, ginger, onion and many more. Next way is from the root. Examples of these are sweet potatoes, carrots, etc. Another method of reproduction is using leaves. Bryophyllum, as explained to you, is one of the examples through which reproduction can happen using the leaves. The last but not the least is from the spores. Examples of the spores is mushroom and fungi and many more. Using these, we can reproduce more and more plants. Now this was all about the reproduction. So my dear children, here is a small home assignment for you all. Question number one, define the following. A part, reproduction. B part, Germination. You're supposed to write the definition or the meaning of reproduction and germination as discussed in the lesson today. Question number two. Explain the stages of seed germination with the help of a well-labeled diagram. I'm sure you must have understood how a seed germinates from seed to a baby plant. So the same is the question. Question number three. What are the necessary conditions required for germination? This also is explained in today's class. So this is a very short home assignment. And I hope that next time when we meet for another lessons and some other interesting topics of the same chapter, you must have done and revised these questions. So till next time, stay safe, stay at home, take care of everyone, enjoy your science lesson. Till next time, we'll meet again. Bye for now.